Ahead of the World Press Freedom Day 2022, stakeholders have urged Nigerians to see the duty of civic space protection as the rights and collective responsibility. The score was made at the Civic Space Guard Conference organized by the Wally Shuyinka Center for Investigative Journalism. At the forum, consisting of thought leaders from major social institutions, conversations on the need for a vibrant civic space as a requisite to engender democracy and good governance was raised. Our correspondent for Lashadio Gurin details us more in this next report. Gathered in this hall are thought leaders and representatives of major institutions, rubbing minds and ways to protect the civic space by ensuring that freedom of the press is not eroded. The speakers caught across all walks of life, ranging from security, the press, legal minds, as well as youth ambassadors. Security operatives have often clashed with protesters voicing their demands, but Benjamin Hundei, the police public relations officer Lagos State Command, says while freedom of association is the right of every Nigerian, the need to prevent a breakdown of law and order cannot be overemphasized. People have freedom of association, people have freedom of movement, yes, and we do not dispute that. As a police officer, one of my core mandates is to ensure the protection of lives and property, ensure that um, there is peace in the society. So even before there is uh, a breach of peace, if I have information that peace will be breached, I should not just lay back and allow it to get breached. I need to do something, I need to be proactive. With the media as an independent protector of the civic space, media practitioner Olukunle Akiriade maintain that journalists must uphold the tenets of the fourth estate and not promote sensationalism in their reportage. A journalist is asked to gather information and it's not restricted. It's not restricted. But most times policemen are usually overzealous in maybe crowd control, you know, or in maintaining law and order. You should separate the with, uh, the separate in profiling. You should be able to separate journalists from hoodlums. So journalists are still up and doing. Uh, yes, there are imperfections in the operations. There are a lot of inadequacies. But those ones, in a way, should not deter them from actually scaling up their, their responsibilities as enshrined in Section 22 of the Nigerian Constitution. On a path, the executive director, CEO of Wale Shoinka Center for Investigative Journalism, Motorayo Alaka, while describing the civic space as a commonwealth that belongs to all Nigerians, stressed the need to keep it safe. A responsibility, she says, lies with every citizen. The role of the media is to enable conversations, to help us to learn about one another so that we can better protect our society. For us, it achieved that. Um, aim of a space where we can have a conversation about the safety of civic, civic space in Nigeria and ensuring that we do not further shrink this space, that people have a right to speak and no one must to stop people from speaking. Advocates have argued that a bill such as the social media bill threatens the survival of the civic space. They also say conditions necessary for non-governmental actors to access information and express themselves must not be stifled. Folashade or Grindy, TV three sixty news.